Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the Rise Up Radio segment, brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. We are delighted that you have decided to tune in. Today on the Rise Up Radio segment, we are going to be featuring real-life testimonies of the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. So, if you know someone who is involved in substance abuse and is looking for a way out, we want to encourage you to call them up and tell them to tune in to the Rise Up Radio segment, coming at you now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Rise Up Radio segment brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. We're so excited that you have decided to tune in. Do me a favor. Can you get on your phone? Call up a friend. Tell them to tune in because they just might get born again. You know what I'm saying? What's up, everybody? It's Pastor Dre, and you are tuned in to the Rise Up Radio segment. And today... We have a powerful testimony of a young man that has been changed by the power of God. Now, before I head on over to our Rise Up segment hotline, I would like to extend an invitation for you to come and join us this Sunday morning for one of our Sunday morning celebration services. Now, we have two services, one at 8 a.m. and one at 10 a.m. And we are located at 123. Four Trucker Road, right there on the corner of Four Trucker and McDonald in the Goodwood Mall. If you want more information, you can WhatsApp us right now or call us. We're standing by to hear from you. You can call or WhatsApp at 061 407 9474. That's 061 407 9474. Seven, four. Or you could always stop by our website 24 hours a day at www.vocapetown.net. All right, family, I'm going to head on over to the Rise Up segment hotline. I got audio on the line. Audio, how you feeling today? And welcome to the show. Thank you, Pastor. I'm very pleased to be here and very pleased to um, be able to talk to you guys. Amen. Well, it's so good to have you. So let's get right into it. Maybe you could tell us, how was your life like before you came to know the Lord? Yes, Pastor. Um, I was messed up. I was lost and bound. I was doing drugs. I was doing alcohol. I was driving taxi. I was into women. Um, I was into gangsterism. I did all kinds of wrong things, things that's not from God. And um, my children were proud of me. They grew up and they grew older and I was doing these things in front of them. I promised them to come visit them and never, and never actually arrived at their places and I hurt them a lot. So I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I found God in my life. I'm so glad to be saved. I'm so glad to, to, to have the salvation over my life and the protection of God. And so glad to be restored with my family, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm so grateful, grateful for everything God has done in my life so far. All right, good stuff. Well, we heard how you were involved in gangsterism and drug addiction, but you ended up changing. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to head to a commercial break. And when we come back, I want you to let us know how you changed. Also, family, I want to encourage you to invite someone to tune in right now. If you know someone that needs to be tuned in and needs to hear this testimony, call them up. Send them an email. Send them a WhatsApp and tell them to tune in to the Rise Up Radio segment. All right, family, keep it locked. You're tuned in to the Rise Up Radio segment. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pastor Dre. I'm just stopping by to let you know that if any of the shows or testimonies that you've heard on the Rise Up Radio segment have been a blessing to you, you can download them for free. Yep, that's right, free. All you have to do is go to www.riseupsegment.com. That's www.riseupsegment.com. And you can download them straight to your phone or you can email them to a friend. And you can be a soul winner today. God bless you. Keep it up right here on the Rise Up Radio segment. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Rise Up Radio segment brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. And we are hearing the powerful testimony of a young man that has been changed by the power of God. Now, before I head back to our Rise Up segment hotline, I do want to invite an invitation for you to join our God's Anointed Now Generation service. That's for students and young adults. They meet every Friday at 7 o'clock p.m. If you are a student, if you're a young adult, you need to check out this service. That's Friday nights, 7 o'clock p.m. 
at 123 Four Trekker Road, right there on the corner of Four Trekker and McDonald in the Goodwood Mall. If you want more information, we're standing by to hear from you right now at 061 407 9474. That's 061 407 9474. Seven, four. All right, I'm going to head back to our Rise Up segment hotline. So, Adio, before we went to the commercial break, you were telling us how your life was before you came to know the Lord, how you were involved in drugs and gangsterism, but you ended up changing. So let us know, how did you end up changing? Yeah, I got tired of my life. And um, one night, actually, I, I went to the shop and people... One night, I got, uh, got tired and people, uh, two guys wanted to rob me and... I fought with them and they messed me up, Pastor. They really messed me up. And um, I ended up crawling home, ended up being, coming to, to, to the place where I lived. And, and, and my girlfriend told me, hey, what, what happened to you? I told her the story and she said to me, you need help. You must go to the hospital. Uh, I said, I told her, yeah, I'm going to next, like the next day to the hospital. I never ended up at the hospital. I ended up at my sister's place. So while at my sister's place, I was there for about two days. She found my daughter. My daughter came to fetch me. Uh, I spent the weekend there with her. And on the, that was a Friday, she came to fetch me. The Saturday morning, while she was sitting there by me and I was laying on the bed, she told me um, that uh, we're going to church. And because I was a, a, a Muslim, I, I was Muslim um, I never even thought of what I was going to say. I just said yes. And when she, she got up and she, she walked in, she went inside and I thought to myself, why did I say yes now? Because I'm a, I'm a Muslim guy, I'm not Christian. But anyway, um, that could have only been God talking through my mouth. And, and, I, and now that I think of it, God, God used it as a vessel to come to me too. And that was actually my calling. The, plant was, the seed was planted at that time already. And at that time, I never knew how it worked. But um, I went to church and the first service really touched me and, 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 and the word was good. And the next week I couldn't wait to go again. I went the next couple of weeks again and on the third or the fourth week in church, I, I went up to the altar and I, got, uh, uh, I, took on, I took on Jesus into my life. I accepted that Jesus, is, that, that the Lord is our Christ our Savior. And ever since, I never looked back from there. I went into the home. From the home, I graduated. And from graduation, I'm in a disciple home now. I'm under Pastor George. Wow. Wow. Well done, man. Well done. All right. So we heard how your life was before you got saved. We heard how you ended up changing. But I want to know, and I'm sure the people want to know, what is God doing in your life today? Now that you've gradu- graduated our recovery home, how is God using your life today? Yeah, boss, so like I said, I graduated. Um, but on graduate, on graduate, as they prayed me out, I didn't go home. I, I decided to stay in the disciple home. I'm being discipled by Pastor George now, and... Um, it's like a new transition for us. It's, it's, it's like something new. It's like learning how to be a leader, learning how to control yourself outside, how, how to, to use your money, how to, to, to be a, a responsible person. And, and, and it, it, I, I really enjoy what I'm doing at the moment. And um, the ministry, I've even got ministries in church. I, I, I'm, last week was the first week I ushered. I was the armor bearer before that, and God is using, using me in special ways. He's, he's using me as a testimony to my family. They restored to me. My loved ones is restored to me. Even my ex-wife is coming to visit me, and um, I'm so grateful for what's happening in my life and, 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 and thankful for the things I'm, I'm doing and, and the way God has changed. Because only God that can show you that, 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 that it's just stored in secret places in your life. Mm. He opened his tents for me. Uh, I knocked and he opened, um, I seek and I found him, um, you know, and, and a lot of things has happened to me in this year and it's just amazing. I just, I, I can't wait to see what's still going to happen in the next five years through God's grace. Yes, thank you. Come on. Wow, that's good stuff. We serve a miracle working God. From being involved in drugs and gangsterism, now you're ushering in the house of God. Can somebody give the Lord a praise? My goodness, Khan Imant. 
Gia Diara a price. My goodness. All right, this is what we're going to do, audio. We're going to head to a commercial break. When we come back, I want you to share a word of encouragement, and then we'll get ready to wrap it up in a word of prayer. Keep it locked, family. You're tuned in to the Rise Up Radio segment. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pastor Dre. I'm just stopping by to let you know that if any of the shows or testimonies that you've heard on the Rise Up Radio segment have been a blessing to you, you can download them for free. Yep, that's right, free. All you have to do is go to www.riseupsegment.com. That's www.riseupsegment.com. And you can download them straight to your phone or you can email them to a friend. And you can be a soul winner today. God bless you. Keep it up. Rise up on the Rise Up Radio segment. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Rise Up Radio segment. And we are hearing the powerful testimony of a young man that has been changed by the power of God. All right, Audio, before we let you go, can you share a word of encouragement maybe for someone out there that might find themselves in the shoes you were in? And then we'll get ready to wrap it up in a word of prayer. Yes, I was. I just want to tell the people, the, the, the fathers and, and the, the, the guys that the, the guys that have children and and that's married, that don't let your children follow your path. Be a be a testimony for your children and be example for them. Um, go before them, show them how how to live life, man, and and make make sure that that you serve a loving God, man. You have to go to church. You have to have God in your life, and and don't be, don't be, don't let them be. Don't be an absent, absent father to them. Don't be a, a guy that sleeps out of his house and and beats up your wife and, and have abuse in the house and everything. Let there be peace and love in your house. Let there be goodness and kindness. Let there be the faithfulness that they, they have to be and the joy, man. And that, that's very really important in a family. So if you take it from me, I, I'm now 58 years old and I lost a lot of those things through drugs and, and alcohol and, and, and abuse for, for, from abusing my wife and stuff. So to do stuff in there like that in front of your children, you, you, you're hurting your children. And at the end of the day, you want the best of the best, the best for your kids, the best for, for for education, the best work, the best husband they can get, the best uh, wife they can get. So you have to lead by example for all those things. So yeah, so only through the power and through the strength of God you can do it. And God is mm. the only one that can give you that. Mm, mm. All right, good stuff. Can you go ahead and wrap it up in a word of prayer? Thank you, God, for thank you breathe to my lungs. Thank you, God, for opening thank my you. eyes this morning. Thank you for your salvation, my God, Hallelujah. and thank you for protecting my salvation. God, I thank you for restoring my family, my God, my thank life, you. my God, for shining a light on my face, for giving me a new identity, for the feet, to, to place my feet thank on solid you. ground. Father, I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, for who you are, my God, for thank you, changing my life, for working yeah. with me, my God, for having a way with me, for taking control of my life, my God. I thank you for thank enlarging you. your tent, my God. I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus for the things you're still going to do. Amen. Father, I, I praise you for, for who you are. I praise yes. you for deserving the glory, my thank God. You. you are the beautiful God, the great God. Amen. You are the King of kings. Yes. In Jesus' name we say, um, amen. 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 Wow. Thank you so much, man, for coming on the show. You did a great job. Thank you, Pastor, for having me on the show. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Amen. And thank you, family, for tuning in. Remember, we come at you every Wednesday at 12 o'clock right here, where we feature testimonies of the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. Also, I want to invite you to tune in to our television program, Treasures, every Friday at 8.30 p.m. on TBN Yet to Channel 364. All right, family, we'll see you next week. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to the Rise Up Radio segment, brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. To learn more about our ministry or if you would like to make a contribution, you can visit our website at www.bocapetown.net. That's www.bocapetown.net. If you or someone you know is involved in substance abuse and is looking for a way out, please contact our free recovery home at 021 691 9575. That's 021 691 
888-242-9575. Or you can visit our website at www.vocapetown.net. Once again, thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the Rise Up Radio segment. 